Hi everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're going to be doing another future value problem today, and we're going to be using the following formula, which is represents a continuous uh, income stream. The reason that we know we need to use this future value formula as opposed to a simpler future value formula without an integral is because in the problem we are adding uh, a thousand fish to a lake every year and in order to continue adding um, money to, a, to an account or adding fish to a lake or whatever your, your problem is asking you, we have to have the integral, this s of t represents the stream um, as we add money or we add fish or whatever the case is. So we have to use this formula. The problem says, if a fish farm puts fish into its lake at a rate of a thousand fish per year, and the fish increase their population exponentially at an annual rate of 33%, find the fish population after six years. Assume that no fish die or are removed. Okay, so we're trying to find the fish population after six years, which means we're looking for the future value of the fish population. So again, future value. Notice here that we have d, t, and we're, it's a um, lowercase t. So this integral is um, going to be taken with respect to lowercase t. So this t right here, um, actually not this one, but this t right here is the variable that we're going to leave in and not touch. Everything else we're plugging in for. So first of all, it says we're looking for the population after six years. So we're going to be plugging in six for our, our capital T here. Here we'll be evaluating um, on the range zero to six later. We're adding fish at a rate of a thousand fish uh, per year. So we're putting in a thousand fish per year. That's our, our stream um, with, you know, with respect to time, a thousand fish. Um, the fish are increasing their population exponentially. We go ahead and leave the E at a rate of 33% per year. So rate is point, um, sorry, point 0.33. And then again, we're plugging in 6 for capital T, and we leave the lowercase t. And of course, dt is just our notation there. So that's all of the information we were given in the problem. We go ahead and plug it in here. And now all we need to do is solve and then evaluate the, the definite integral. So the way that we do this first thing is always by distributing the 0.33 um, on the 6 and the negative t here. So we'll get 0 to 6, 1,000 e to the 1.98 is 0.33 times 6 minus 0.33t dt. And the reason that we do that is because now we have e to the 1.98 minus 0.33t. Um, when we have two terms like this that are added or subtracted with each other um, in the exponent on the e here, we can break them apart like so, 0 to 6, 1,000. We can break them apart so that we have e to the 1.98 and then multiply that by e to the negative 0.33t. So we can separate them in that way, which is very useful because e to the 1.98 is a constant, so it is now part of the coefficient here. Um, so we can pull this 1000 e to the 1.98 out in front of the integral, which will drastically simplify our integral. So we'll get future value equals 1000 times e to the 1.98 times the integral from 0 to 6 of e to the negative 0.33t dt. So this is now our integral and now e to the negative 0.33t is something that's easy to take the integral of. So the way that we do it, 1000 e to the 1.98 we multiply that, um, we divide by the coefficient on the exponent of the e, so 1 over negative 0.33 e to the negative 0.33t, we go ahead and leave that alone. That's our entire integral, and then we're going to be evaluating on the range 
0 to 6. So let's go ahead and erase the rest of this. We don't need it. So we're going to now evaluate on this range. So we will have future value equals 1000 e to the 1.98. And then to evaluate from 0 to 6, first we plug in 6, so we get 1 over negative 0.33 e to the negative 0.33 times 6. And then we always subtract and then plug in the bottom number. So let's get rid of this. We plug in 0, so 1 over negative 0.33 e to the negative 0.33 times 0. And then that's it. So that's uh, how we evaluate on the range 0 to 6. It's always the top number first, minus, and then the bottom number with a definite integral. So this is going to end up being our final answer. We just need to simplify and use a calculator to solve. So the easiest way to simplify is we can do um, 1 over negative 0.33 e to the negative 1.98 uh, e to the, this is going to be negative 0.33 times 0 is 0 anything raised to the 0 power is just 1 so this e to the 0 here just becomes 1 which is redundant so we're just left with this um, 1 over negative 0.33 and because we have minus a negative this is going to be a plus 1 over 0.33 and that's pretty much as simple as we're going to get without using a calculator to solve so when we plug all of this into our calculator we see that the future value is 18,917.3 four zero three dot 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 so when we get this value normally if we were talking money we would round this to point four zero but remember we're talking about fish and they're asking about the fish population so as the fish population is growing at this very instant in uh, six years there will be eighteen thousand nine hundred seventeen point four fish but we can't have point four fish and since we haven't gotten to 18,918 fish yet, um, and that, that next fish won't exist, um, the future value in fish is actually just 18,917 because we haven't, we haven't finished making that 0.4 of a fish. So 18,917 fish will be the future value of the fish population after six years. So that's it. Hope that helped. See you guys next time. Bye!